Hi everyone, it's Jessica here and welcome back to another card tutorial. Today I'm making a light up Halloween card and I'm really excited to show you the night sky ink blending as well. For the first step, I'm going to use the VersaFine Clear Nocturne ink to stamp some images. The stamps I use today are from Mama Elephant's Mialowing stamp set. They actually have a Mialowing extra add-on kit and that's actually the one that I'm going to use today. I decided to stamp on watercolor cardstock so that I can splatter on water droplets after we ink blended the background. But because I'm using the texturized side, I did have to stamp a couple times using a stamp positioning tool. After that, I stamped the images again, but this time I'm stamping them onto post-it notes. This way I can fussy cut the images and turn them into masks for ink blending. And now we are ready to ink blend our background. I haven't done ink blending in a while, so I was really excited to use my Distress inks again to create this night sky. The color combination I used today is kind of like my go-to colors. I did add a new color today, and that one is Shabby Shutters. This one is kind of like a more uh, lighter green color, and I typically don't include this one. However, I kind of want to add a little more gradient to this background because my focal images, which is the little cute ghost, um, it's really a simple image and I'm not going to do much coloring on that image. So I kind of wanted to add a little bit more interest to the background. You'll see in the end that it adds a nice pop of color that is vibrant and kind of contrasts with like the dark colors on the top of the card. I'm actually really happy with this color combination and I encourage you to give it a try too. Once we're done with ink blending the background, we can add some interest by splattering on water droplets. This is my favorite way to create nice sky scenes and this distress effect just adds so much more interest. If you want to take it a step further, you can also splatter on white acrylic paint. Then I uncover the post-it notes and color the images with distress inks as well. It's just really simple shading and just a little bit of water coloring just to add a little bit of color. Next, we can move on to create the lineup circuit. For today's card, I wanted his eyes and the little lantern to be glowing in the dark. I'll be using two white LED light stickers and also an orange one for the pumpkin. The circuit making is actually pretty simple since the three light up elements are close to each other. I made sure that the top of the triangles are facing outwards so that they can be connected with one copper tape. And then for the other side of the circuit, you just have to connect the bottoms with another piece of copper tape. After you're done, just pop in the battery into the battery holder and you can see if you like the placement of the LED lights. When you're happy with everything, you can adhere the front panel to a card base using foam tape. 
and I actually added some die cut grass elements as well. I die cut the pieces from black litter paper and also some patterned vellum. This completes the whole scenery and kind of ties in the darker colors that we ink blended for the sky. Here's what the card looks like when I press down on the battery. You can see his ghostly little eyes just shining in the dark. And I really like that little pumpkin too. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this fun little Halloween card. If you would like to see more light up card tutorials, be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. That's it for today and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!